why use a pro bright tank in beer brewing? A young beer must be properly conditioned and stored to become a mature, well-rounded, fermented and carbonated craft beverage. Specifically a newborn beer needs to be filtered, chilled, carbonated and aged into a sophisticated and seasoned draft, which takes a variety of vessels and processes. There's no one particular way to do this. Whatever the process, after conditioning, the beer is filtered to remove any remaining yeast and large proteins. That clarified beer is known as bright beer because of its non-cloudy nature. That bright beer is then transferred to a bright beer tank. Often called a bright tank, serving tank or secondary tank, a bright tank is the vessel in which beer is placed after primary fermentation and filtering. So it can further mature, clarify, and carbonate, as well as be stored for kegging, bottling, canning and packaging. In brew pubs, bright beer tanks can even do double duty as serving vessels. The engineering and function of a bright tank isn't nearly as complicated as a brew house or bottling line. But these vessels have important functions and maintenance items. For instance, temperature is very important. Your typical fermenter needs to run at 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. But you want your beer and bright tank at near freezing, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, to get it to carb up properly. Bright tanks must be engineered to be cold and hold pressure, sometimes act as post-filtration and be easy to clean and service.